this is really interesting. Bill Nelson. So for Europeans out there, who is Bill Nelson? He's a senator. He's a Democrat. He is the NASA administrator, and he is party to full classified documents. When the day comes that we have found life outside of Earth, or we have made contact with an alien civilization, it will come from the NASA administrator. Bill Nelson knows everything that is known about UAPs, and the president will ask Bill Nelson for those answers. And I know nothing. I know what I've read in the Pentagon declassified report. Bill Nelson read the whole thing, and in this interview, he really spills the beans. What I want you to do is to listen very carefully to every single word he says, even the nuances and the way that he says things. He's smart and he's not going to reveal top secret stuff because it's to the advantage of America not to. But he wanted to say something and I think in this brand new interview, there's at least three bits of new information that he says, which maybe he shouldn't have, but I think he's drip feeding us, the rest of planet Earth, for a big reveal of what they really know. Now, I know what you've seen is what those Navy pilots saw in 2004, and there have been some 300 sightings since then, and I've talked to those pilots, and they know they saw something, and their radars locked onto it. And, and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface and then it's there. Uh, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on earth that has that kind of technology, uh, but it's something. And, uh, and so this is a mission that we're constantly looking. What, who is out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? How did we develop? How did we civilize? And are those same conditions out there in a universe that has billions of other suns in billions of other galaxies? It's so large, I can't conceive it. It was suggested to me by many different people, they did want your comment on what you think the fighter pilot saw. I think most people saw that 60 Minutes uh, piece, and there were a lot of newspaper uh, pieces about whether or not it was Russia or China, or perhaps more likely uh, some extraterrestrial ter intelligent beings. Uh, what is your theory? What, you've heard a lot of options. Which one do you think is the most credible, if you can choose? My personal opinion is that the universe is so big, and now there are even theories that there might be other universes. And if that's the case, who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized like ours. So what did you make of that? On the surface, it's just a statement by the NASA administrator. But listen to these points again. There have been some 300 sightings since then, and I've talked to those pilots and they know they saw something and their radars locked onto it. And, and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface and then it's there. Uh, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on earth that has that kind of technology. One, he confirms that the objects are real, seen by multiple sensors. We'd heard that before, but that's confirmed. Two, he says that the UAP seen by the Navy jumped altitude suddenly. That's a new one on me. Three, they're seriously thinking it is advanced technology. Ours, meaning humans, or not. And then for me, the biggest thing was his more philosophical discussion about 
the size of the universe and how much life there is out there. Our universe is vast. In fact, the most amazing thing that you can think about today is the visible universe. The visible universe is the length of time that light has taken from the birth of the universe, 13.5 billion years ago, to reach us here on Earth. But that's only the visible universe. There's stuff way beyond that. So we don't know the full size of the universe. Oh, that's a bit mind-boggling, but a fascinating thing to think about. But for me, the most interesting thing that he said, which could be just possibly his own belief, but just maybe he knows more than he's really letting on. And that was the statement about us, about the age of civilization. Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? How did we get here, was his question. Is he implying that we were helped? The truth is still out there. Hi, this is Simon. Can I ask you a favour? I will do my best to update you with breaking UAP UFO stories. But please, if you enjoyed what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you're a patron, thank you for your support. Because of you, it's possible that the truth can be revealed.